I hear that your pickup line to your lady was "Utak by Linkaza." Yeah, <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> What can I say is even more what a guy. <laughs> that I was say? the first thing you stepped up and said. Yeah. No, obviously. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Welcome to Chopping It with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire, Lord of the every, Lord of the fit. Shout out to Wendy for the fit. Uh, a Lord of the crisp, Lord of the mommy game, Lord of the light skin baby daddies. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, the shade game is the verdict. Hemity the boy, Lord of uh, let's clinch. A different level of guest in 2024. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to Bongo Koza. Yo. The smoke. Shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> yeah, smoke. Shout out, yeah. How <laughs> crazy is that? That's yeah, man. Crazy. I had to take down notes. Usually I just come out here and Really? Freestyle. Just pull yeah. up. I, I don't mind a freestyle, bro. You know what I mean? We can refer to the notes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are references. Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how are you, sir? Let's start with that. I'm good, bro. I'm good. My ankle is recovering. I, I fell on my ass coming Doing downstairs what? on a holiday. So I'm, I'm recently getting better. What, December? No, Jan. Vacation? Yeah, young vacation. Come in. On, um, I was carrying the baby stroller, dog. And uh of course. I, I was just confident in walking downstairs with the baby stroller. Did you drop the baby? I, no, no, no. The baby wasn't in the stroller. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Baby was with mama okay. and I was carrying the stroller. Mm. And I fell, dog. So like the a first bad time fall? I, it was bad, bro. It was the first time I was like, okay, I'm, I might pass out. I had to lay on the ground with my shirt off just trying to... The nigga's like, don't move. <laughs> the homies are like, don't move, bro. It's bad. I'm like, is it that bad? I can drive. Like, nah. We're going to call you an so ambulance. So what? You twisted a... Yeah, I twisted an ankle. Shit. And it does look <clears throat> swollen. Yeah, like bro. But otherwise, I'm good, bro. I'm healthy. Yeah. Um, um, I count myself blessed. Um, yeah, man. You seem to be living a very blessed life. Congratulations on your daughter. It is Thank you, said, bro. Right? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, what, you my now, Four months in? Five. Five. Yeah, five months. Closer to six than five, but yeah. yeah. And likewise, bro, congrats. I mean, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were checking me out. I see you, my G. Congrats. How's I'm that been for you? As well. I mean, I need tips, bro. <clears throat> my lady does it better than me. I'll okay. tell you that much. Like, she's, she's, uh, she's a beast. Um, <clears throat> shout out to my lady. So my son just turned one. In, yeah, on the first. On the Jan. first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's, which is crazy for me, because, so I had this show as a focal point. Okay. Last year, but I don't think anything has been more of a focal point than that. Yeah. In my life, like I as agree. soon as his mom's got pregnant, so it's like. <clears throat> if I were to say how it is, it's it's probably the most present I've been yeah, as a true. human since yeah. since I was a kid. Because when you're a kid, being present is easy. Sure. It's just who you are. It's yeah, yeah. You're like immersed yourself. in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Life hasn't hit you yet. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, from having gone through life and becoming jaded and going up and mm -hmm. coming down, it's like this experience and then being a dad, which I already was before yeah, this, but... Sure. This is the first time, like, I'm actually still with the lady and we Love live that. in the same house. Word. And we did it, like, Word. for a whole Which is a whole year. different experience together, right? Completely. Yeah, man. So that's been, I don't even know what word to use for it, but that's been, like, very fire. That's dope, bro. Yeah, it's like, it's super different for me, which which is probably uh, why I'm able to, to handle myself the way I've been able to in the past year. Got it's you. Like, there's a different level of responsibility in the way sure. i move and right in my execution i feel you which adds like a layer of maturity i guess yeah yeah definitely you know? like yeah you, you don't even ask for it, it no just, no no yeah it's like it feels as though as soon as his mom's 
told me she was pregnant, it's like it came upon me. It's yeah. Like, Vroom, you're you're going to have to yeah. kill this, knock yeah. it out the park. Yeah. Mm. But like within a strength that you know you somehow already possess, you know. Yeah, but also not trusting in myself at all. Mm. Not trusting myself at all, just yeah. giving it up to the most high. Absolutely. You have to be guided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't... Like for me, if it was up to me, mm-hmm. I was, I don't, I don't think I trust me to. For real? Something like that. No, I've, I've been a wild boy for like, uh, a great portion of my life. So yeah, my resume is kind of crazy. Right. So maturity is new to me. It's something I'm mastering for right real? now in my life. Yeah, like maybe the past six years. Yeah. It, it's been. You know, uh, a, a a change in trajectory in my growing. That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. How's it been uh, for you? Um, Actually, tell me about how your lady told you. Um. So with us, we like we we planned. Planned it. Yeah, yeah? we planned it. Damn, you guys are like top level black people. <laughs> nah, <Not even. laughs> like, nah, we planned it, bro. Like, I think life was just moving at a like. But, I was with my wife. Welcome. Sorry. Thank you, my bro. Yes. Bless. Thank, thank you. you. It's an honor and a yes. pleasure. Everybody, thank you for having me. This coffee is amazing. Though I made it myself. I mean, it's like, here's <laughs> Lovely the sh- work. <laughs> it's like, here's the shit. You know what to do. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, dog. For me, my wife and I, were we were dating for a good eight years. Mm. We got married on the eighth year. So, Yeah. It came to a point where we're like, not bored of each other, but we're like, you and I are capable of... Of loving each other. Yeah, and making more out of this thing, right? Because mm. it, it transforms from, you know, dating, moving in together. Okay, we did the whole fat and set thing like when we were... Yeah, I mean... Eh. Eh. Okay, so you did have some, some regular black folk in you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's basically Pita for a long time. Mm. Um, a big chunk of that eight years, I think a good seven of that eight years, yeah, we were yeah. living together, kind of on and off. Um, this is what, like, immediately after Varsity, yeah. maybe? So, I met my wife in 2012. Mm. Yeah. So, we met in... I think everything happened very fast, bro. Because, like, we started dating, like, a week or two after I met her. Yeah. And then we moved in, like, a month or two after that. Mm-hmm. So, it was just Wait, been... oh, so you guys got straight to it. Even the fucking straight to the thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're like, come on, bro. Let's <laughs> listen. Uh, ain't got all day. Um, and then, yeah, bro. So, when we... This was last last year, twenty two, end of 2022. Mm. We're like, come on. You know, we've, we're married now. Let's and also the house is the house is quiet, bro. When it's just two people, in, yeah. in, 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 in the try club. In, let's like, try learning. Let's try learning. If yeah. it's understand well, okay. it's not like near Papa every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah young two. Yeah, it's movie. not every day. That's exciting. You feel me? Yeah. And we're like, it would be nice to have like an extra member in the crib. Mm. And then yeah, we kind of worked around star signs. We're like, okay, what? We kind of. Let's Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, dog. We're like, the planning went that far? Yeah, bro. Got a Leo. My daughter's a Leo. Just, I wouldn't call it intentional. And aimed for it. Yeah, bro. Aimed for the Leo. Yeah. I don't know, dog. I'm an actor. An actor prepares, bro. You know, my wife's also an There's actor. A different level. Of yes. So we're like, you know, trying to figure out, okay, a Leo would be cool. She's an Aries. I'm also a Leo, and my daughter's born two days after me. I was actually aiming for my birthday, two days before me. I was aiming for my birthday. And Yo, was like, this is... <laughs> but she came on the 11th, and it was also like, you know, when it gets close to the time, you really have to stand back and let, uh, and let, God, do and let God do the thing. Mm. I was like, ah. The only thing that I would say didn't go my way, I was sitting there when the, we were asking the doctor, one of the first, I was like, okay, do you guys want to know the gender? I'm like... It's like it's a girl. It's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love. I mean, I was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, but yeah, I mean, sazo, 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 la misa. Yeah, I'm fit, you know, and, and have a family. But I mean, I love my daughter, bro. It's like, also, I know I'm figuring out the reason why. Why it's a daughter? Yeah, like there was something in me that needed to kind mm. of yeah live in that space. 
Um, and it's, yeah, and it's just a, I don't know, you got a son. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's a different experience. Yeah. And, you know, having a daughter for me is like, yeah, no, it's. I was praying for a daughter. Really? Yeah. You see, I think it's the, it's the, it's the but pre. I already got sons. Okay. So I'm, I was like, get a girl. Yeah. I think this, maybe next time I'll just like not give a fuck and see. But maybe you can teach me how to prepare for a girl. Bro, we can, we can definitely switch notes. Like, you know, yeah. um, a girl is like. I've, yeah, I've, sometimes I feel I'm a bit rough, just in terms of tenderness, yeah. you know. It's like... Oh, well, you're not tender enough. <laughs> I'm learning, you know. Yeah. Like softly, hey, da-da-da, da-da-da. But I think that's just a baby thing. I'm like, these yeah. humans are just like, you know, brand new. And is that how you... Is that what you feel like your your daughter was meant to bring you away? Is that what you're sure. referring to? A million percent, bro. Mm. A million percent. And she's... I think she was meant to reveal like a a tender soft side of me cuz like I said I'm a Leo bro like I'm I'm not aggressive but like I'm assertive bro and I don't give a fuck about like when I do my thing no, you can or say fuck Yeah yeah like when I got to do my Good. thing or when I need something or want something I'm very like it's single get minded done. yeah about it and like yeah my daughter's teaching me also I guess babies also teach you that like we call a boss in the house because yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. hell yeah, yeah, bro. Like, that humbled me. Mm, mm, mm. Realizing like, that, oh, so this guy's gonna call the shots. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What? From the jump, yeah. bro. Like from everything, like mm. the couch, wherever she sits, it's just like all her. Mm. Um, and yeah, we are not here, but she tells you when you can go and bath or mm. go and like sleep or whenever like she'll say when bro you she owns the timetable hella so it's just learning that also as as the person that i am to submit and it's crazy the irony right you gotta like exactly. submit to this baby and you're yeah. like fine we'll do whatever you want it's like i can't um, wait to teach you that yo i'm actually yeah. the one who runs this. yeah like this is not your house i was telling my wife i was like oh wait when she can talk and we can converse yeah, and like, you know, like yo, that's the first thing yeah I that's the first you. thing i want to let you know like, yo, <laughs> this is, that's not gonna slide it's not gonna go your way <laughs> this is this is my house. facts dog facts so I checked out uh, an interview you did with your lady. I think her name is... Lesejo. Lesejo. Yes, yeah. I almost said Lerato. Lesejo. Right. Shout out to your lady. She seems like a, a solid pillar in your life. Thank like you, Just bro. seeing uh, just the interaction. Mm. You speaking about how much your daughter softened you, how much would you would you say she had to soften of you? Because... I mean, okay, I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know what that means because I'm mm. not too deep in the stealth signs. But I've mm. always also carried my own yeah. chip on my shoulder, super assertive, super, sure. I'm, lead, I'm the lead of the group. We're going to do it my way. Yeah. And, you know, and I have experience of what it's like when you find the one, like the lady that's actually going to buckle your knees yeah. it's like oh sh shit this is a lady I'm gonna have to listen to it's like all oh, the other ladies had to mm. follow the law or yeah, yeah, get yeah. kicked out the law of the lord <laughs> <laughs> yes sir yes yeah, sir you know so uh, how much work would you say she's responsible for the man that, that sits in front of us today dang a lot bro a lot mm. I'd say like she she's the she's the brakes and the seat belt in oh, the Porsche, fire. you know, that's like fire. she took this thing that's like, that can fucking go mm. and just put like safety precautions yeah. around it. Like, I mean, as, 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 um, go getting as we can be, you can't ever disregard patience and what that does in a process mm -hmm. of, of anything. So my wife is hella patient, Yeah, you know? So I, I mean, taking that trait from her, just kind of made me like so she taught you the patience yeah did she have to she instill no. it no 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 that's also the thing with me like i mm. i, I can't be told bro like you know i'm also like that nigga like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know you know, I, you're not really trying to hear it nah dog <laughs> uh, <laughs> respectfully yeah respectfully dog also it comes from we call it a, ba a background thing bro you know we played uh, I come from a primary school where I used to play like hella rugby, um, you know, so I was a rugby kid growing up. Mm -hmm. I'm a visual artist first, so I'm a painter, 
Right. Okay. So, okay. So let me right. bring this in context. Mm-hmm. So rugby is very, it's very strong. It's very rough. Yeah. You know. So manga timbanga on that field. Yeah. As much as everyone has I a played position. Played some rugby also. Yeah. I, I was the lock. You were the lock. Yeah. Number six. Fucking tall. Number yeah. seven. The seven. Yeah. Okay. Fresh. No. The seven is. Yeah. Seven yeah, is. That's, that's the locks. Six and seven. The flanks. Flank. Yeah. yeah. Right. The locks are the locks are inside the scrum. Yes, yes, yeah, yes five yes, and the six. Flanks, yes. Yeah, yeah, flanks. That means you were quick. Yeah, because you got to break out the scrum and yeah, the rugs yeah, quite to, quickly. Yeah, and I have to catch the first tackle. Yeah, if exactly. It's breaking out. Yeah, the if other you break side. out on yeah, that yeah. side, you're right here on the flank. Mm. Um, yeah, I played lock a little bit, but I was inside, outside, center, backline for a long time. I played, I played uh, forwards in um, high school actually. Yeah, because I think it was just a different. There was more niggas now. Um, and other guys could play the backline, and backline you had to be very fast. So yeah, I played yeah. lock, played flank as well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So Shout you out. like the whole sports? Like it seems like you moved around everywhere in the. Not game, everywhere. So. I mean, yeah, those specific positions in front and backline. I mean, uh, forwards and backline. Mm. Um, but yeah, I played. I started out playing fullback. Mm. That was like fire under nine. That's like almost a quarterback, right? Yeah, 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 it's the like, fullback. That's a very important man. On yeah, the yeah, he was, bro. And you know, you, t- you, should, you should be able to catch and kick very well. Yeah. And tackle, obviously. Your first tackle's always got to be first time. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah, I think another nigga came back in primary school and they moved us a little closer and closer. So by the time I got to high school, I was playing forwards. Mm. Um, but I didn't stay quite long at that school. I went to NSA. Uh, Shortly after to finish oh, yes, my high school. Say out here. Yeah. Well, out down there. Down yeah. there, yeah, in Brom. Mm. So, but I mean, you know, so in rugby, you gotta you commit to things and you you go in very hard. Then when I went to NSA, I was a painter, which is like a I'll call it like a autonomous thing. Like you were alone creating this thing. There's no real collaboration apart from. Like, mm. let me see what you're doing, Troy. Ah, oh, really? oh, you know, how do you do it? I do it this way and that way, you know. So I've always been the niggas, like, the nigga that does his own thing. Mm. Um, and I think it's transferred a lot. So going back to our point, like, yeah, like my wife, to an, to an extent, maybe she'll be like, this is how I do it. Mm. But even in the learning, I'm like, if I want, like YouTube, bro, if I want to learn something, I go and do it. You know, I don't, I don't wait for... Yeah. And if I need something, I'll come to Zinger and be like, Zinger, bro, can you please teach me about that thing? Yeah, you, you just go fetch it. Yeah, I fetch it. I mm. fetch it. And I mean, yeah, I'm a, and I'm, a, I'm a dropout as well. So I think even that whole <laughs> sitting, you tell me what to mm. fucking do. It's just tough. It to never worked. In, yeah. yeah, it never worked for so me, my G. Relate. You yeah, I can relate to no that lie, as well. Bro. Dropped out like a couple of times out of school, bro. Like, tell mm. my parents were like, nigga. I dropped out twice. Same. Yeah. Like a first year graduate, because I did like first year three times. So if you, yeah, <laughs> if you put the first year together, bro, you can yeah. give me something, You're dog. Yeah, year, you can get a cap and gown. For yeah, that. give yeah. me something, dog. <laughs> yeah, I also did like six months at Vitz first year, fresh, and I was like, nah. And then Mm-mm. after like I think two years, my dad put me back in like Boston. Okay, and then I did also. Probably like four months then, and then the cash time thing took off. I okay, like, Audis. I'm out of here. <laughs> Audis. Yeah. Like I'm out of here. Yeah, I got close in drama school, um, but it's it's a gene, right? It follows you. Mm. Um, so first year I was at Vega, and I was mm. like, uh-uh. I think I did nine, nine to six. UJ did like, yeah. How far is April? April is like <laughs> <laughs> foe. I did a young foe. Yeah, yeah. Like a young foe. And then so. at the at the at the lab, I actually I actually one would say I finished it. In. Yeah, yeah. We did a I did two years, one mm. in like a bit, but I just had a fallout with the nigga of authority. Well, okay, okay. Um, you know, towards mm. the end, and it was very. I think it was it was a dumbass reason to drop out of school, but it's like. If I didn't do that. Mm. But it also was like, yo, dude, I don't call it ego, but like who we are is who we are. Mm. And most people see that. And if they know you don't know that. They try and play with that. They're going to play with that, mm. you know. Just speak on it. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, I, homie's in the industry now as well. And I'm sure when he looks at me now, he knows I know. 
Oh, the same homie. Same homie. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he and was. You're more big dog than him, right? <sighs> I, you know, I, I'll, let, I'll let that. Yeah, I'll, I'll let I'll let you know people say that, but I'm just like, what did you think was gonna happen, bro? You know, you thought you knew I was him. And I left. You know, we had the we had the fallout, and like the whole thing was like, we had this preview. So I'm the lead on this play, right? It's the final school play, mm. and then we have the preview for like press and stuff on this day. And I'm telling him, I'm like, and I was coming down with flu, dog, mm. and I'm like. But I'm not going to do this performance, you know? Yeah. Because I'm sick. And if I do this now, I might fuck myself up for what really counts, right? Mm. Which is the run. He's like, nah. They ain't trying to hear me. He's like, nah, yeah. you got to be here. Bro, I had a scooter at the time. Yeah. And I got jumped on my scooter, went to the clicks, bought my meds, went to bed. Came back next day. He's like, you, you fired. Don't ever come back to the school again. I'm like... Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like cool. And then um, I had a film called Necktie Youth um, that kind of toured the world. Did well. Uh, it won best film at Def like uh, Crazy. at the time. Um, I was nominated best actor at Tribeca um, at the time. What? And it made a hell of noise. And then when wow. we were doing the Def screening, you know, the film ends, credit rolls, and. Us and the director have to go downstairs, do a Q and A, talk about the phone. Yeah, yeah. And I saw him leaving. <laughs> he couldn't stand it. <laughs> no, no, I saw him. Um, I guess it's a festival. You can go wherever you want to go. Um, <laughs> but I saw him leaving, and I'm like, okay, I guess you watch the film. Okay. You yeah, know. Yeah. And then he gave me like a salute from the top of the staircase. Oh, he gave like, you a love. Yeah, and well, I was I thought like, maybe he was hating, feeling like. No, 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 bro. I still speak to him. In, you know, when I see him around, but I was mm. like. Yeah, that was that was just also part of it. Now, when I look at it, like I thank him in a way mm -hmm. because we are who we are, bro. You know, sometimes school is not for everybody or the type of traditional school. A lot schools. of times, uh, hell, it, you know what I'm saying? A lot like, of times, actually. and it's 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 stupid for me for us to judge each other based on a singular type of system or structure. Yeah. Even this whole exam study. Now, I was having this chat. I don't know what you think, bro. I was like. Mm. If school was actually like continuous, like it doesn't end, mm -hmm. right? Like number one, you wouldn't have these gaps where you like have this victory, like in Pasile, and then it's got to be killed in January where you start again. Yeah, so yeah. it's this constant trauma of like, yeah, my pasa. It's like I won, but now <laughs> but I have to start again. And, yeah. and then you do this grade for grade and then... Also, especially at the part of like be between matric and varsity, because it almost feels like a choice to not carry on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they're like, nah, I'll take a gap here. I'm done with this shit. But it's like, but no, like, the, it looks like it ends, mm. but it actually like continues and not, mm. not like university or varsity, but like yeah. the learning, the, 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 the habits. The school of life. The school of life. So whether yeah. you go do whatever you got to do, but like, Matric is not like an end of something. Yeah. And I was saying that true, to, my, to my nephew true. now because he just mm. finished matric. I was like, nothing ended, bro. Like, you're going to just stop wearing uniform, but like, you can't, you can't get out of that mind state of work. Of, yeah, yeah, of moving. Of moving yeah. and like, you know, waking up whatever time you wake up and like trying to make things happen. I think that's actually the only thing I can really appreciate school for. I mean, right. of course, I can, okay, no, that's, that's, inaccurate <laughs> school taught us some good things there's yeah. some good things in there but it's like that's what i can appreciate <clears throat> what you learn from going to school as well it's like oh, okay the idea of waking up every day and going out yeah. there and doing something yeah yeah it's yeah. like yo this is how the world works yeah yeah mm, a million percent you're not just gonna come out here and just chill out yeah and, and learn that on. later yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I sort of kind of had to realize that later because <clears throat> I became a rapper, mm. obviously, after. And things like those come more naturally than, than having to sit down and learn something. Like, sure. Nobody actually sat me down to teach me how to be a rapper. It's something I took upon myself sure. and like built myself on. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. 
even when that happened for me, which was at a very early stage in my even deciding to be a rapper, it's like, okay, I've been doing this for like two years and then I get signed. And it's like, oh, boom, boom, boom. And it happens. So it's like, that sort of gave me the idea of, oh no, I'm the greatest. I can always just wake up and do this like straight out of bed, right. which is then reality obviously had to smack me mm. on my bum and yeah. then teach me, no, in life you have to work for yeah. for for the things that you want. For so sure. you have a different perspective. You've always known or is that something you know now as you're passing it on to your nephew? Or is that something you've always had in you, in your character? So I'm going to have to work for this. Yeah, yeah, dog. I've always had to. I've always been, I've always been the nigga to... Like I say, like, if I want something. So here's the trait. And, you know, we, we see how it expresses itself in life. But my thing is that, like, I want the things I want. You know, I, I didn't grow up wealthy or, like, my parents aren't, like, you know. So yeah. you'd often... You'd often have, I was the nigga who had, like, a, a waitering job at the Wimpy, yeah. you know, while other niggas were... <clears throat> Not, you know, mm. or, or I'd have, you know, I'd be, dude, you have to wait at tables at the Glen, you know. Um, Fire, because you're from the South, right? From the South, yes. for sure. Where in the South? Uh, Robert Cham. Okay. Yeah. Not sure where that is. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't know where the South is at. We, we, we own Gold Reef City. Oh, you know? yeah. So what, around there? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that area, the Gold oh, Reef fire. City. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know that area. Um, so I'm, I was always the nigga that, like, okay, also, I grew up in a family where, I always, I had to find myself quicker because my my I'm the last born and my older siblings are academics. I mean they both have masters and PhDs in their respective Jeez. fields and it's and I think also that was a mind fuck for my parents as well when like, and what, you then become yeah an like artist. What, what is this you know like what, what's going on how do we like how Who's do we do kids this? you know what I mean and part part of the the job was like me explain not explaining that but kind of justifying that to myself and then tr how that makes sense to them. Mm. So there's, th there always had to be kind of a structure that I balanced to say, can someone else who has no idea what an artist kid is still understand? Mm. And, you know, when you see me, let's say, I mean, artists can also be very, it's like art itself, right? It can be interpreted in many different ways. Yeah. So you see a nigga with like, Flipping paint marks on his jeans, or and he's got these weird ass dreads and fucking these in lento lela ma, which I had. Yeah, I had those. Yeah, bro, I had flipping tents though. Can fit a cigarette through it though. Yeah. So you know, it's it's for me. It's just like okay, fine. How do I still make this make sense? So there's always been like that young structure. Or that young thing to say, does it make sense? And I think that whole thing kind of made me be professionally creative. Mm -hmm. So that like the freedom I get in my creativity, will my dad understand when I explain to him what I do? Mm. You know, can I, can I tell my mom what I do when I, mm. you know. Can you make it make sense? Can I make it make sense? Mm. You know, and... That's that's just been the. Did the, you the grow journey. up with both mommy and daddy? At yeah, all? yeah. You sound like a both mommy and daddy. Yeah, daddy. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. respectfully, obviously, to my parents, they didn't stay together. So, I, you, I, as a professional broken home nigga, sure. Like, <laughs> I can, I can yeah. pick up like yeah. when somebody's not of my cloth, like just from. Even the characteristics that they that they carried from a very young age. Right. Like for me, I was I could afford to risk it and do the loose cannon thing because yeah. daddy wasn't home to whoop me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you yeah. know sometimes there's a nigga when you grow, especially in the teenage, you feel like you can push it with your moms. And sure, you know, sure. Like, and my mom's wasn't in the game, by the way. Like, well, the first time in Shang and Bama, my mom's was in grade five. Like, sure. Open hand, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, I felt traumatized. Like, <laughs> yeah, ah, but assumed, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you got a word for like, it. Many the kids, <laughs> man, in my grade, are going through this, but yeah. you know, so like that's. I, I always, I not envy it now, but I, I can always appreciate it in other human beings because I've had to then teach myself those things Shout when out. I realized 
Well, you know, when you work on yourself, when you take L's in life, so, yeah. so you have to figure out what you had missing. Like, what what did I do wrong? How yeah. did I suck? Yeah. And then you, yeah. you gotta go fix those things. So in working on all of that, it's like you really when you get to the lowest denominator, it's like, yeah. oh shit, these things it's are coming from yes, because of this and this the yeah. issues that I at the crib, and then I missed out on this, that, and that, which caused me to become like this, that, and that, you. and that's how I ended up making this, that, and that type of mistake. You. I yeah. feel you. I feel you. So you kind of I, I envy the the both folks cribs, and then because you you, you kind of have. A center in a sense of gravity. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, hello. I think also I was, I also grew up kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. yeah, but it was always that thing of like, there's always home, you know? But it, at the same time, it makes it, um, I wouldn't say I envy, you know, I don't envy. Yeah, I'm I mean, I guess we envy. can all find. <laughs> Yeah, you know, of. but like that, that, that learning or that ha having, uh, I'm saying for you, like, mm. you know, you didn't have a dad to whip your ass. I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was like, for me, it was just always like a constant, why, why don't, da, da, you know, until yeah, yeah. I finally just like, fuck, I'm old enough to move out and find yeah, myself. Which kind of then gives you the opposite of, Cause then, as soon as you have your, a longer leash, then you wanna wild yeah. out. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. um, and I did, bro. Like I think I moved out the crib. Yeah, after my trick, after mm. the, after my trick or a year. But obviously, moving in and out. But mm. that's the thing. That was a nice part of like. But I guess that's just having a home. I mean, I'm sure yeah, you could yeah. go back Which to is, your mom's crib yeah, when you yeah. when you needed mom's to. Yeah, gonna yeah. take you back. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess the car. I, yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was going through it with the Pops first time. Like, she, my mom actually nigga. called me with that yeah. at some point. She could feel it. Was, no man, you're mm. going through it. Yeah, I'm calling to my whoopi. Was he like? You felt the boy cry. Yeah, for me, that just sounded like. Hell nah. Where you I from, bro? I have to figure this out. I'm from Newcastle. Like, okay, fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up out there. Okay. Mm. My dad's, uh, my dad's home is in, uh, Wasat, in, like, close to Dundee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. Those are my areas. Out yes, there. sir. Okay. Now yes, that's sir. fire. Yeah. Okay. So, it, it, do you get the, the real Zuluness from his side? Because when you said you were a Joburg Zulu nigga, I, like, I wondered, I'm like, nah, to be able to pull off Mkwele like that, you got to have a root of sorts in of the real actual cloth. Of, no, I mean, sure. respectfully to the Joburg Zulus. For sure. Mm. Yeah, the... the, the <laughs> yeah, like, where the art? Let's try it. Nah, um, yeah, my dad's a Zulu man. Mm. Yeah. He's and a, mom's is? Mom's is Soweto, mm. Soweto born. Her parents were first generation. Uh, her dad is from Mozambique. Mom is from Lesotho. Mm. Yeah. So how do the arts find you? I've like been. what's the first thing? Drawing, that, bro. That gripped you. No, drawing, drawing, yeah. I can relate. <clears throat> I would say voiceovers first, actually. Sorry, I'm going to keep you at certain No, please, shout where, out, my bro. One where love. I feel like there's a connection. Nah, I hear you, bro. Do you draw too? That's how I started. That yeah, was sir. the first love of art. Yeah. Like, my dad used to be super mad at me when he was still in the crib before, yeah. you know. Yeah. Because uh, then he'd have, this was when computers were still new. and Yeah. So the the clear A4 papers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Those type the, with, yeah, yeah, the reams. Yeah, the with the, yeah. <laughs> the package. <laughs> sure. You used to run through them because... I was literally in love with those papers. Mm. Like whenever I see one, I, say, I just wanna. Yes, and I need to fill it up. Oof, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's that's where it started for me. For sure. Mm. Yeah, that was me, bro. Hundred mm. percent. Um, I but like when I look now in retrospect, it was probably voices, you know, um, which because you're the lord of that also. Ah, bro. Aish. I think time, time and experience, you, 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 you crown the longest standing, you know? Um, that's fair. Yeah, that's I just, yeah, I've been in the game for a, for a minute. You doing it. Yeah, a young 20. Mm. Oh, yeah. shit, with yeah. the voices you Yeah, mean? B. Crazy. So, so, so uh, when like, you say that was the first, what do you mean by that? So, okay, so when I was in preschool in Shawela, mm. 
there were these exchange students, yabo, ungamla. And I connected with that lady a lot, yabo. And I don't know if I mimicked her or whatever, but they tell me in preschool, this nigga used to answer the, the phone. On some, why I crash? How are, how are you? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> type of thing. That's fine. And it was like, okay, I hear that. And, bro, I used to know the whole Lion King, Ace Ventura, these fucking movies, The Mask, like word for word. Yeah. And my big brother's like, nah, nigga, like sound for sound. Like you would do the, the door, the everything, the gun, the, you know, yeah, the yeah, dialogue, yeah. everything, you know? Fine. And it's like, okay, fresh. So, when I did my first voice, I think I was 12 or 13, um, it was like, it was easy. You know, the, the agent, the, the client, everybody was just like, it was never like, ah, oh, all right, let's, re-. the way I, you know, I mean, I was, yeah. I, I was a director before I started, um, before I, 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 I got goodness. famous. That's crazy. You did your first voice at the age of 12. Yeah, bro. For what? For, um, Clarisol. Okay. Yeah, for Clarisol. Um, How? Clarisol is the... Uh, yeah, it was the, they had a young... Uh, like oh, they the, had one for kids? I, I, the script is like, chatting to girls is not a problem for me anymore. Using Clarisol <laughs> face wash every day, I get the confidence and good looks to be who I want to be. Something like that. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a, an acting How'd thing for teenagers. You? I was with the agency. Mm. Also, I don't know how my mom. I remember going to the house. We signed the paper. Like, mm. cool, this boy is gonna do, is gonna join us, and then it was going to the thing. So I don't know what conversation between my mom or maybe my mom is watching me watch Lion King. She's like, oh, okay. So the mom Malia. spotted it. Yeah, yeah. My mom's been very highly supportive, yeah. bro. About about Shout who to I moms am. As they do. Spot yeah, it. Doug. Like they pay attention closely. No, for sure. For sure, for mm. sure. Because they are us. I mean, they're just... Um, Respectfully. I yeah. Respect mom yeah. versions of us, bro. Mm. I see I see myself in my mom. A lot of my traits. I need my dad too. Mm. But my dad also... I think my dad is more aspirational. Like my mom is me as in like I see myself in her. As a person. Yeah. Mm. And then my dad, I see who I'm, I'm meant to be. Your you know, drive. So, yeah, like... Two different spectrums. Like, mm. not that my mom's my past, my dad's my future, but like, when I see my mom, I can affirm my existence. But when I see my dad, mm. I affirm my journey and like the man as I'm a meant man, to become. especially. Yeah, yeah as a man, yeah. especially. So, yeah, like, I, so I would say voices, bro, was kind of the first thing that, that, that happened. And I could draw and I went to like a, I had like a, a rugby scholarship at the school in the South. and one of the teachers called my mom. She's like, is he in trouble again? She's like, nah. <laughs> just want to show you this like science dissection of a frog this nigga did. Okay. Yeah. Like. So your science game was up also? No, bro. Like the drawing of oh, the, the, drawing of of the, the organs thing. was just like on some other level. She was just like, nah. Like he, he can't be here. He's up, up. Man. Yeah, like he can't be here. We can't give him what he needs. And she was a very sweet lady. Mm. And that's how I went to NSA. And I also said I found myself at NSA. And then, then you're drawing against So the teacher yeah, yeah. was right. Now the teacher was, was right. On. I think it was also God, bro. Because I was like, I guess, you know, when God ha- puts something in you. and mm. So there has to be something that so happens. Someone's going to come in. Someone, and- yeah, guardian angel who's mm. going to come and connect the plug there mm. to that thing. So she was, she was that. Um, and then uh, at NSA, it was like, all right, now there's no, you're not special. Yeah, it's yeah. like, we all are like <laughs> nah, this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we all like this. Everybody, bro, and niggas yeah. have been at it. I mean, I got to NSA, I think, grade 10 or 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, So you're also like... You're also, also the other kids are pros now. Yeah, I understand. But I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, being being in that space, finding finding and being around like-minded people. Um, and then that's also where the rap kind of came through. And nah, I think I could rap, but I think just... The voice was nice for niggas to listen to. Yeah. You know, let alone the bars. That's funny that you bring that up because I actually wanted to bring that conversation up on our next culture chop. We have uh, this thing that we call culture chops where we talk about the actual Dope. culture of yeah. like the space. And it's like, I wanted to actually have a conversation where we talk about the differences in why people are dope like mm. there's people that people 
find dope because they just have a great rap voice. Yes, sir. There's people that are actually dope because the lyrics are dope, mm. even though the delivery and maybe the songs may not be that great. Sure. And then there's people who have like a combination of both. And there's people like this, the yeah. different reasons as to why people Absolutely. are dope. Absolutely. That's why that you can identify that the voice was was doing it for you. No, for sure. I mean, there's there was there were a bunch of rappers at NSA, dog. Mm. And um, you had to find your lane. You know, which the, was what was yours? I don't know. My what type was... rapper would you say you were? You still rap, no? Nah, I enjoy music. I produce as well, so I kind of make oh fire, what yeah, man? make some drum and bass and and uh, that's like electronic music. Mm. I would say I was more like I had bars, but it was mm. like also energy. I think it all comes together, Doug, because I think mm. with me it was like I was never this like. Conscious guy or whatever. It's like I was yeah. crazy, like, you know, I was like, it was just to be like, wow, what the fuck is what is this experience? Yeah, know? yeah, all okay, um, fire. So it was. I think I feel like it was a sweet spot of of a, a couple of things, but also that lived in a time of its own. Mm. Um, and as we say, like, the more you don't naga a part of yourself, something will come to say, yo, bro, to say yo, you're having too much fun on this one thing. Mm. We still gotta connect you with this other thing. Um, yeah, I think I was. I think a voice, maybe a voice, a sound. Um, yeah, and the energy. The, the energy, experience. yeah, yeah. I think more so the energy because um, I was a drum and bass MC for a long time. Um, and that's purely about energy. I mean, you got, you like, you have four, eight bars, eight bars, four bars. In and out. In and out. Mm. Just like kind of working the crowd, you know, for the DJ. And. Mm. Like, that's where I thrived, you know. That's where I, f I felt like, yo, this thing is kind of taking off. Because mm. most of the big guys, I would, you know, the scene is small, so when I say big guys, don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Not talking about like Zinger <laughs> level out here. But in their in the, in the, in the little respective the podcast, circle, though. they were big, bro, you know. Yeah. And we're tall, bro. We're tall the country, play big festivals, crowd surf, fucking. Fire. Yeah. Remember... I had a thing. I was like, I'm gonna just jump off every stage. Yeah. That, they started now like putting the stage here and like four meters between the barrier. And I'm like, you're ruining my my record. I'm trying to count this one too. And it'll be at like the big festival, like a Ram Fest or something. You're like, but mm. shit, I need. Um, but yeah, that was that was energy more than anything, bro. You know, I, that's far. Yeah. yeah. So what? It was like a DJ and you. Or yeah. like a band of sorts. No, bro. So do you just you and the DJ? Do you know drum and bass music? No, I'm not quite certain what you mean when you say that. Shit, bro. <clears throat> drum and bass music is like the first at the top you of my. You need another one. We can get another one made for you. No, nah, I'm good, bro. Thank All you. Right. Drum and bass music is like what's coming to my mind is because the gym I go to now plays a lot of it, and I'm just like. Is it me? Is the genre growing? Or mm. it's uh, shit, bro. I don't know. Drum and bass music, one seventy-five BPM. Mm -hmm. Um, do cha, do cha, do cha, do cha, do cha. Like, uh, who yeah. would you say makes drum and bass? In SA, anywhere. Okay, I would say the biggest. Okay, not to not to mistake him with the DJ Fresh Tato. There's a man called DJ Fresh, mm. Monroe, Polar Bryson. Um, Yo, it's, it's, a, it's a Shit, whole. I need to tap in on my drum and bass. Yeah, bro, drum and bass. Mm. Party music. Party yeah. and gym music. Very mm. energetic. Okay. Yeah. So I like, now at the Virgin, I'm at, they play it and I'm like, hey, man, this is dope. <laughs> so this has come all the way here. I went to the vape store and the homie was playing a, a mix by Monroe and I'm like, bro, who's like, is just you playing or is it the shop? And it's like, it's me. Go to this party. I met this chick from this party. And it's like the circles I used to be in. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, wow, maybe the genre is growing. Um, but yeah, drum and bass, bro. We were about it for mm. a long ass time. So when this is happening, this is what? After high school? Yeah, way after high school. No, way after high school. Like soon after high school. Soon after high yeah, school, right? Because I, I saw that you initially had wanted to be a rapper. That's what you were gunning for. For sure. Yeah, that's what you were trying to do. You weren't actually paying too much mind to this acting thing. Nah. Yeah, that nah. was, was more your lady who was killing that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 100%. She would come back from plays. I'd be in the room with the homies. We'd be like, 
In the stool. In the stool, <laughs> just like just grinding. Yeah, yeah, just stacking up like uh, mm. you know tracks on the timeline. Um, yeah, dog, that was that's that's facts. Yeah, but I think at any point of time in my life, I just I don't try to think too far. I heard a quote, I just forgot where it's from. It's like, don't think beyond two weeks, bro, because that's way Oof, out of your control. That's fire, you know. And um, yeah, like uh, I need that. There's also a very important quote that says, "Just for today, bro." Yeah, it's just for today. Just for today. Like, oh, just for today. Yeah, three words. Just for today. So. Those are the kind of I like those. I need to I need to work on those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sometimes for today. you think too far ahead. Yeah, and my nigga. And I'm also thinking like yo, two weeks, that's like even now. Because like, even oh. two weeks you ning you know, two weeks. Now. Know, two weeks yeah. ning. That's why I'm also like, nah, just for today. Just bro. for today. If I can go as hard as yeah. today. As today, then I'm yeah. nice. And Kat said the same thing, uh, on the club Shay Shay thing. It was mm. like if you could say one thing to everybody, it was like if you could just be the best version of yourself yeah. every day mm. as if you were going to die the next day. Yeah. It's like if you, by the time you go to bed and you look around, it's like today was I. <laughs> yeah. Did I do well today? Yeah. Also, okay, I'm going to go sleep now. Did I really add everything that I was involved in today? And yeah. I respect that. I like that. No, for sure. Mm. For sure. And also like, I think um, the rap scene taught me a lot where, I'd also, I also hit a decline when, when Back to the City came out because mm. it was like a, the beginning, the early Back to the City. Mm. Um, I'm talking like 2009, 10. Yeah. Yeah, then eight even. I mean, I was at the first Back to the City. Yeah. It's just like, which was when? 2000 and, was it eight or nine? Probably. Yeah. I wasn't here yet. <laughs> I got here 2009. Oh, fresh. No, yeah. that was around about then. It was yeah. still under the bridge. It was uh, yeah, sponsored yeah. by Sprite. And um, I was like this kid in high school, like, yo, I'm I'm a rapper, right? So let's go hang with all the rappers. Mm. But now you're realizing, shit, bro, these are the rappers from everywhere. Um, everywhere. Mm. Uh, I remember Iron Solomon it's like a classic battle, bro. Ooh. Iron Solomon versus... Mm -hmm. Dang, who's a tough big black guy? He also does a podcast now. Uh, Matt Hoffer. Matt, Matt Hoffer. Yeah. Uh, and he had like a, a bar that said like, your whole, your whole hood, your whole, you know, your, all your holes will love me. You're only famous. You're only big because you're famous to your local buddies. You know, he had a, yeah. he had a punchline like that. And I was like, yeah. that's actually facts. You know, because mm. you can get caught in like a small ecosystem of NSA or schools, mm. you know. That you're at the top of. Or even Gandhi Square. Gandhi Square also used to be like a... That was a thing also. Yeah, yeah, a hub. But even then, it's just like us that catch the bus. It's not even the whole of Jersey. Mm. It doesn't move past that. It doesn't move yeah. past that. It's all the niggas that have to be here anyway. Mm. And you could be battling a nigga and it's just like, uh, shit, uh, your f whatever, your girlfriend, Steve. Shit, I'll finish you off, but I gotta leave. And he runs <laughs> against the bus. Yo, You're like, yo, you know, yeah. and that, but it's all within that context of, mm. of Gandhi Square. So back to the city was like, shit. You even want to ask a nigga, where are you from? Like, where the fuck mm. are you from, dude? You know? It's like, oh, no, this is the real rap shit. Niggas tell you, they from Highlands North or they from the, the East or the, the West. East, and you're like, yeah. fuck. And then I realized, whoa. Let me focus on my on myself and actually yeah. let me carve a lane. Cause these yeah. niggas okay, and, and I also saw that okay, these niggas are all gunning for that one lane. Have you ever been in a cipher at back to the city? Yeah. Yeah. Like a cipher back then. A cipher back then. Because <laughs> rapping wasn't as diverse as, as it is now back then. Yeah. It's like you had to yeah, yeah. have those bars I mean, ready. I listen to some of the niggas now, I'm like, bro, like that shit wouldn't slide, bro. No. That, would niggas not. would punch you for real, bro. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, a lot yeah. of this shit would not fly. Mm -mm, you mm -mm. wouldn't be able to drop this shit in a cipher. Fuck no, dog. Yeah. Fuck no. So imagine back then when you're like, as like grown men, and that time maybe you're like 15, 16, and there's grown men going yeah. in hard, men with beards. You're like, mm -mm. the ones that I have are they. <laughs> <laughs> the high school ones. <laughs> the high school ones. 
yeah. tell you, and it was like, nah, you know what? Let me figure out it. And obviously, life took me different. Like, I was into jazz, producing, acid jazz. Mm. You know, I used to listen to a lot of Bonobo, DJ Crash. And I was like, what if I rapped on this thing? And mm. Kanye also was a big influence on me. I was like, man, he makes his own beats. You know, and I love that. That like, yeah, bro. Like, why does my raps have to try match your beat? Mm. You know, let me let me express my own. Thing. Yeah, bro. I can I can make change the beat to my flow or whatever. Mm. So yeah, that was that. And the music thing. I mean, it's more of a soul satisfying thing as opposed to trying to make any. As opposed to trying to win a Grammy. Yeah, dog. It was never that deep. It was. It was at some point. But I mean, the, the, yeah, at, at every every turn you have to have some self acceptance, which you know. Let me let me let me keep moving, or let me not let me try something else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so your lady you met uh, in varsity, yes? Yeah, in drama school. This is which attempt is this now? Because you have three first year attempts. So oh, this is the, the last one, the final oh, one. Oh, this is the, your final yeah, straw. Yeah, the final one. I need, a, I need to so leave you with went something. Back <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving there with something. I'm to leave with something, bro. I know I'm not getting the, the cap and the yeah, gown. So, but yeah. I'll, take, I'll take this I'll fine take, yeah, lady I'll take right this here. This right here, this gem. Mm. Yeah. And Imagine. obviously, so even when you describe yourself, you sound like whether you are neat deep in your. Artsy fartsy type mm, nigga, right? Sure. To NSA, all that. You had dreads apparently yeah, at the for time. Sure. You're already getting ten. So you've got this and you've started touring on the rap shit at yeah, the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, and while doing this. So your confidence and the ego is mm. top notch, it's up. Hello. I hear that your pickup line to your lady was Utak by Linkhausa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> What can I say is even more what a guy. <laughs> that I was say? the first thing you stepped up and said. Yeah. No, obviously there was um there was intel, you know, given to me and this and this and mm, you did your research. Did my research, well done, I knew who course. she was. Did I know her name at the time? I did. Yeah, it was just a it was it almost happened as almost like starting from scratch would be Going backwards, because I think she had known about me. There was a mutual friend. There's this guy who likes you, mm. you know. So I think even that first conversation was like, there was a mild tension of like, finally, we're talking. Yeah, finally, this happens. Yeah, like mm. face to face. And then I thought it was light and uh, progressive. Like there's a, it's, it's actionable. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Um, and very telling of 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 bigger things of right? potential of yeah. potential. Because mm -hmm. if not that if she said no, but I mean, you know, it would tell me a lot. And mm. she was very kind. Bought me a cigarette. Mm. I was like, okay. Even though you didn't actually need one, nah. It was just a yeah. Come on now, big dog shit. I ah, see. Boy. I see. <laughs> you had to get in there somehow. I had to get in, and that's actually such a, a good in because it's like. She was a smoker too at the yeah, time, so yeah. that's something that's she that's personal to her. Like exactly. that's an immediate connection. That's that's no amateur shit. Usually, she, niggas are trying to say you are pretty or yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, a nice yeah. dress or yeah, yeah. Like, you, now, that's rookie shit. You now, came in was like, yo, let me let's smoke. Ish. Let's that's smoke. immediately <laughs> comfort zone. Like, oh, okay. Now, nah, praise God, it worked out, bro. And yeah. that person is my wife. She's the mother to my child. It's just like, fuck. Did you think it then? Or was it just a crush at the time? Like, oh, no, nah, this is a fire thing. I might got to touch this. Respectfully, wifey. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, you know, this is a... Um, yeah. Be for real. Also, keep it a uh, bean, don't uh, dog, you? I'll guys? keep it a hundred beans, bro. I'm telling you, like... Okay, yeah, hell yeah. You know, Lesejo made me feel... There was also like, bro, going through that life and whatever, like a lot of the things came easy. That's why I'm like, come on, keep it a bit. Were you just yeah. trying to touch it up or was nah, it? Nah, nah, bro. Did it always feel like, oh, this, this is something? It felt, it felt also, I feel like God will never show you things beyond what you're able to understand, mm. right? But he will plant a desire in you mm -hmm. for you to pursue that thing. Mm -hmm. But if he had to show you the end goal, I 100% sent believe like someone like me yeah. and just 
and probably end up fumbling, F- fumbling yeah. the whole thing. Hell yeah! So, but with her, it was like something really different and special. And I was like, I just want to know you. You Fire. know, I really just want to know you, and like, I want to know what your voice sounds like. Like she, mm. yeah, my wife is she gorgeous, intrigued bro. You. Yeah, she intrigued me, bro. Yeah. I was just like, bro, if you can know me, know my name. Spooly sign it and like yeah. as long as we can go that's to this. Like, yeah, I'll that's live with for that. me. I'll live for that, bro. Like, but <laughs> I can't be a stranger that. to you. Bro. Yeah. You know, like you, you know you really like someone if it feels like that. For sure. It's like even if it's not being a little Yeah, like, like that's enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. You might come out, you know. Hello, mm. right, sharp, sharp. Sharp, I, I'm happy. Sharp, I'm not. Bambe, small talk, if you can get away with it. If you can get away with it, but for me it's just like, yo, man, I I need to know you, your name. You need to, I'd like you to know who I am mm. and we'll see where we'll that see goes. What that, what that is like. Yeah. And what did it feel like to be able to sense the embrace? Was, oh, no, I'm, I'm actually being given some real estate here. Yeah. I can, I can come closer. <laughs> Obviously, for me, it was more like, okay, fine. I have to do something with the, with the real estate, mm. you know, that yeah. I've been given. I ain't going to just... <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I was just like, okay, cool. Because after that, it was like, cool, we smoked together. Mm. Well, then we did like proper intros. Like, I'm Bonko, da da da. I know who you this friend, this guy, look, shop, shop. Then I think something happened. I had to go because we were in different uh, years. You know, I was in second year, she was first year. Mm. And, and also, the mutual friends that we had also kept us kind of close. But I think. Mm. I think for her as well, it's like the mutual friends we have will keep us close. And like when I hear her story about the experience, I'm just like so fascinated that, not that I would have worked less, but I'm so fascinated that it was very mutual and the speed and joy that it all went down with was Mm. like, okay, yeah, it would only go that way if that person like you back. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does really reciprocate. And you guys also, when you, because you said earlier, you guys dated for like what, three months and moved in together. Yeah. Yeah, like you. No, we dated after a week. Mm. And then we moved in together probably like a month, bro. Three is long. A month. And it's like that when, like, the true sparks fly off. Mm. Like, when you when you meet your soulmates, it feels that way. Yeah. Because then you guys kind of get to a point where it's like, yo, I actually don't want to leave you. Yes. Like, that, that's, the, that's, that's the... I'm so, like, the thing, your Klugana is, mm. is not zanna. cute anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> like, mm. like, I know there's rules to this thing, but... Yeah. That, that's what it was? That's exactly what it was, bro. Mm. Inseparable. Inseparable. At whose so at whose place do? So uh, I don't. You know Joburg well. You're 2009. Mm. Had a young I had a young spot with my homie Hendrik in West Dean. Yeah, no, I know West Dean. Uh, my brother lived in West Dean. Actually, sure. I have an older brother who lived in West Dean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. West Melville Dean. Side, no? Yeah, that's yeah. it, bro. Um, By so, the complex out there, right down from the spa. The one. The spa. Ah, the spa is yeah, in Melville, the, though. Yeah, the spa is in Melville. Like, yeah. Then you, Shai, you go Shai down Rai from, to Kupu, and then yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lived on uh, the 4th, 4th Avenue, mm. 3rd Avenue. Forgot the Fire. Up. Yeah. So we stayed there. Then when that kind of, uh, you know, the commune split, had mm. a deal with the landlord. I mean, him and I got along. He's one of my best mates now. Um, mm. He was like, no, you have the crib due to yourself, you and your women. And I think everyone around us could see that, no, these guys, but I turned down. Yeah, like, yeah. It was, it's real, this thing. Yeah, because yeah. he was done with the whole rental thing, um, commune thing. Mm. And it's like, the only reason I'll keep this thing going is if you and my wife, you know, If you and April. the lady need it. Yeah, if you and April want to wanna live together, yeah. And we're mm. like, fuck, yeah, bro. So we were like 22, bro, like in a in a... With a house all to ourselves, which also was a, I think, was a, a, a lesson in like home owning or, yeah, like you, you, yeah, 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 dog. yeah. and I mean, also the space and the responsibilities we had to share. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's not a commune now, there's no, there is a landlord, but there's no, like, we cook, we clean. Mm. All this space belongs we to need us. Now. Yeah, it's mm. it. So, Nakona, we didn't know at the time that there was a young training of 
where this of thing the must go. Level. Yeah, yeah, where the thing's gotta go, bro, yeah. you know. And even at that time, marriage and those things, like we were just infatuated, bro, we're like just excited. Living in the yeah, moment. living in a moment, young. Mm. So now I wouldn't say we struggle, but now it's like there's there's quick references to things, be it like, you know, managing a home. I think that obviously our daughter is one thing that's like it's level Com- ground for everybody new. for everyone yeah. in the world with everyone with a child no one no matter you can tell me boy, yeah, three no, months can't. before with our boy even if you babysit for, before yeah, no. it's a whole different thing once it's happening so yeah bro I, like there was always quick references of like okay but remember in West Dean when things were happening I mean we, we, we bought a home a couple of two or two 2021 Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, just managing that—it's just like not easy, but it's like ah, you've got a reference. Mm. I'm like, trying to figure out how to keep it this time because apparently you guys yeah. were in it now, though. Yeah, now, nah, bro. Being in as your long own as they keep booking then, yeah. me and putting me on these show max keep things, and uh, come yeah, on come on, bro, they got mouths to feed, bro. Yeah, you know? come on, two of them now. Yeah, like wife, yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Little one. Mm. Yeah, dog. Nah, I mean, also just working is, it's a dream, bro. It's a blessing, my nigga. Like, I'm not going to cap you. Yeah. This is it's probably the best time of my life. The past the past three years have been just, I mean, not three. Been fire, two and we just starting the third. Yeah, mm. bro. Like, yo, blessings on blessings. I don't know, bro. Like, mm. it ever happens that way. It's dope when it... <laughs> When you see things take off, yeah, it's like all oh, dreams can actually happen in reality. It's like, yeah, oh, this, it's a different high. Yeah, on life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, but just staying humble. I mean, we spoke earlier, and you were like, you're still keeping yourself humble in terms of this whole thing. Yeah, I just um, focus on the actual job. Yeah, yeah. But that's weird because, like, when you were a rapper. And we spoke about ciphers. Yeah. You can't be humble stepping into a cypher. Yeah, though. yeah, no. Nah. I only, I had like to Like, you can say the humidity. stupidest shit thing. And like, <laughs> you, like, after we listen to you, be like, the fuck did he just say? But the way you come into that thing. Yeah. You know. Hell yeah. No, nah, that's definitely how I was for the longest time. But I had to learn humility after. Because I've had, so I've had two uh, rap runs. Like, okay. I had my run as Smashes. Okay. Went to the cash time thing. And then okay. uh, fell off. Went away, came back as Zinger. Okay. When I'm now doing... So in my decline and going away is when I had to learn certain things. And that's when I was working on myself. So it was like the humility I had to learn. Sure. And that's when I realized that, oh, the work is what matters. It's like... It's fine. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I, I can be as dope as I like and, you know, as fashionable as I like and as appealing as I like and as good for as fitting for the job as possible but if i don't put the work first then the people that work in the space can't value my my existence in the space for sure yeah so i i had to adapt that and learn it no for sure i hear i hear you know you hear things like tupac used to make or write like 10 songs yeah, a 10 night songs or whatever night. Yeah. you're like he's working harder than his entourage needs mm. And he's already Tupac. And he's already Tupac. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I feel you, Doug. You, uh, yeah. Yeah. I had to also, during my downtime after Smashes, he's actually a person I got into. That's why I got him here, uh, Park. He was a nigga that I actually got into. I started watching his interviews. I was like, oh, shit. That's where I got the realest nigga of all time thing, like the inspiration to be. For sure. Because when I was watching him and him talk, like he always was very honest about how he felt and what he thought yeah like regardless of what he could be putting in jeopardy he always spoke his mouth he always spoke his mind it was like had a big mouth about it would you move like that i feel like i did that's how i was when i still smashes i was very brash very i don't give a fuck this is but were you doing that honestly or were you doing that because it was, it was honest. like a, it was, a, it was a, a persona comic. that's required. I've never done the persona thing. Yeah. Which is another reason why I sometimes, and um, if not all the time, <laughs> refer to myself as the realest deal of all time. Because like, even the rap thing for me wasn't a persona. It's like, I did that because that came to me. It's like, 
the same way I saw you speak about acting. It's like you didn't chase it. It's like it came to you. So this is something you that was given to you. Oh, sure. So the 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 rap appeal and the thing is God given. It's for like sure. I have the image for it. I, it came to me at a young age. I've always had the bounce, had the swag, had yeah. the, so it's like yeah. I'm literally designed to be a rapper. It's for like sure. The thing is it's like, yeah, but this is it's like people who who know me from high school when I became a rapper like, and they yeah, saw me on TV, even though I wasn't really a rapper in high school, they're like yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, even though I didn't feel that way, it all just came together in my life the way it did. But when I look back in retrospect, it, so nah, it was never a persona. It was, like, that's who I was. That's how I felt. I felt like, oh. fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. That's how I felt. <laughs> like, that's how I walked around. That's how I felt. I felt like I'm better than all you niggas. How do you feel now, bro? I still feel that way, but I don't wear it. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, you can't escape those things. No. Nah, you just have to tame them. <laughs> yeah, you tame them, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, I sometimes, I, I feel the same, dude, and I measure it. I measure it depending on obviously learn to read the room. Mm, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, bro. I mean, Drake had that thing where it's got that, I think he did an interview on BBC or whatever, and he has that, I don't know if I think it's BBC, but it's it's an Instagram thing and they use it a lot for motivation. It's like, mm. sometimes you got to realize that it's like your thing, you know, like, um, mm. which is just a, yeah, like, I, I, if I could say what I want to say, I also wouldn't run, or run the risk of whatever that, the consequences of that is. Yeah, whatever could come from it. Yeah. Not to say I, I'm, I, I don't want the, the reality of those consequences, mm. but it's just like sometimes you wear it up. Like, do I have to, or you know, yeah. what what effect is it gonna have? And and especially as a nigga that likes making money, like, how is it gonna? Speak like, on how, yeah, how does it? How do I bank on that? How how do yeah. I get a return on that? Yeah, facts. Um, Cause, yeah, because that's what it becomes. It's yeah. like because. Okay, so you go from being an artist to then, especially as a freelancer, yeah. you go from being an artist to then, okay, I'm doing business. Yes. So it's like, that's when you have to learn things like read the room. It's like, yes. Okay, so is this good for business? Yes, is this good for business? <laughs> Am I going to get a return like, on yeah, this? this? Yeah, this is how I feel. And yeah. then I want to hold my nuts and yeah, show my bravado. Yeah, 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 but exactly. How much paper am I fucking up? And yeah. Am I trying to fuck up the paper? Mm, not really. Because I fucked up. I've, I've already had the experience of fucking up the paper. Yeah. And then starving. Like when I smash it and then on top of my shit and was, you know, super brash, I literally had people tell me to my face, say, when you know, when, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the people, you know, when the type of people that are in position in these industries, yeah. and then if you don't bow, yeah. Then it's like, oh, you gonna you don't bow? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna so see. Lovely, and for yeah. me, I didn't bow with pride. Sure. You know, because also as a Zulu man from KZN, you know, there's a lot of mixtures of me. Sure. That t- that were a, a reason as so, But it's like I'm not bowing to anyone. Anyway. Yeah. And when a man makes a threat, I'm saying, okay, we're gonna see. see yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna see. So then I saw, it's okay. No, people can actually starve you. Yeah, they can. You no, know, they can starve. There's you. people of power. Um. Yeah. Shit. I've learned that too. Um, and they can starve you if you don't play the game like in a smart way. They'll they can close you out. You can be as talented as you like. No, for sure. Mm. I think also that's <sighs> fuck, bro. I got a lot to say about that. Come on, get in there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think sometimes our feelings should be put aside from the business. Like I can't be less of me because. Like we were saying in the beginning, right? Mm. Some niggas, they see the power. But they I saw too, man. Tingi, 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 Until maybe the day God does something for you where it's like, now the whole world knows. Yeah. And then when the whole world knows, you also know. And I think God also is happy when you walk in your gift. You work, you Ooh. walk in your, in, in who you are. Because... Mm. As I want to Bamyama, we don't have a lot, bro. You know, we yeah, don't yeah. have a lot. All we have Which is. Which is why there's that energy also of. Hey, yeah, I would die. Hey, hey. Yeah, but mm. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it from a place of lack. Mm. But I'm saying it from a place of uh, things that we can rely on. It's not a lot, but it's 
is powerful. You Ooh. know, melanin, um, pride in, in, in just the African culture, like being a Zulu. Mm. You know, I, I recently learned now being a Kosa is like, man, I used to take it lightly, but mm. you know, I, I met, I met, um, uh, a, a, a very good, good friend, uh, umkulu, umbuso kosa, you know, mm. and he put me on game about about what cause I'm about, and we have a little kosi in baga cause, and I'm like, yeah. kosi ni. Let you know what time it really is. He's like, is. nah, boy, what you talking about? Like, uh, you know, our 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 ancestor, u u unchingwa yomahole, he led the whole Sanzana thing, and that was the whole, the, like one of the only wars we've ever won against British, and I'm just like. Shit. So it's not a lot, but what is there is powerful. Mm. You know, like Israel is very powerful. Mm. Um, so it's like, yeah, dog, sometimes we need to allow all of ourselves to walk into, walk with that. You know, work, walk with how you were born, bro. That bravado, that should never have to put it aside. Mm. If business means your feelings, ah, then we have to relook really our business. True. You know? But yeah. if business means, you know, you have Kanye with the anti-Semitism stuff and it's like, yeah. mm, that's not really feelings. That's like people's <laughs> <laughs> histories and, yeah, you know, yeah. like, yeah, as long as I don't offend a certain race or culture, you know, and also that would mean I would need to not be racist. And, you know, mm. and comedians have it the best, right? They can say whatever the fuck they want to say. It's not, it, not so not, much even anymore. Then, yeah. Even then, right? Even then you've got to count your... the new world order now. Young it's, it's so strict. As long as I don't offend anyone, I should be allowed to walk in my strength. I should be allowed to tell you that mm. I think I'm dope, bro. I think I'm... The, I'm I think I'm really the one. I am think I'm the one, mm. bro. Which is why I intro the show like that. Word. Like yeah, come, bro, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Here, Before we go anywhere, Doug, like, let it be known. Yo, yeah. Hey, this is who you tuned into. But, nah, fuck with that. You know, so that's that's as far as I'll push it now because I'm also in my, you know, inside and inside to building as and I'm building stage. That's right. You know, yeah. I'm I'm a fan of how much you've built. Was it the the voicing that led you into acting? No, bro. The crazy thing, right? There's two stories I, uh, I always tell. Mm. In 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 NSA in, in matric, you know, we have different departments. You've got your drama department, music mm. department, music and art. So we have this festival called Festival of Fame, mm -hmm. where NSA brings a bunch of plays for the week and they get kids from all over the country to come watch art. So they were like they would host an a festival. Yeah, art festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually the school would have like a, a main production. We call it the main production, but a big production done by the students and whatever. Mm. And they would often ask the art boys to be extras. Yeah, well, maybe it's a soldier, you know, I'm a cheetah, <laughs> I'm a soldier, we, we're mm. holding someone, we're picking them up or whatever. So they would, we would, we would always borrow ourselves to the art, to the drama department. Mm. So uh, a homie of mine, Miriam, or a girl I used to go to school with. Hey, Miriam, hope you're good. She she had a plan. What's up, Miriam? She was like, "Yo, can you be in this play? It's not big. As always, you're gonna be an extra, you know, because this this ain't your thing, mm. you know. But you're gonna be an extra. But I don't know what she saw. Or maybe we just we were, we were cool. Mm. She uh, just throwing you in. She's your yeah, boy. She, yeah, yeah. She mm. gave me a through ball. They're like, yo, just, you can come do this thing if you want. I was like, yeah, for sure. I don't mind helping you. Mm. So we did the things. We did the things. There was a play. It's a prison. It's a three-hander. It's a prison. I'm the prison guard. I just opened the gate for this kid to come into prison. I opened it for him to go visit. And I opened it again for him to leave prison. Yeah. You understand? It's like three. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> no, at all, right? Yeah. And then it went to a festival. But at this festival... The lead homie doesn't show up. Oh, shit. She's like, nah, nigga, you know this thing. Because you knew the script. Sure, I was Ever at, since Lion King, really, you've been known scripts I'm not even, word for word. I was at all the rehearsals. That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is innate for you for to sure. catch the whole thing and know it verbatim. Right. You've been doing it since, as, since a kid. She's like, nah, bro, do the thing. We don't need that character, bro. Like... Prison guard at this point, like we gotta we just gotta do this, bro. I need this nigga. So I did that. And that was the night the niggas were judging the competition. Mm. What then, niggas it is? 
these are the the the, the festival makers. Yeah, yeah. So these are the these are now judging because every festival have awards at the end. Okay. So this was judging night. Mm. You know, I think it runs for a week, and then there's a night where it's like, this where is the a niggas night. come in. And yeah, yeah, we're watching. Mm. And it happened to be that night, bro. And I don't think Homeboy knew because I think he would have maybe skipped another night, a different night. He slept. But yeah. This is how God does it too. And then she comes up to me two weeks later. She's like, bro, you, you won Best Actor at the festival. <laughs> but she gives me a certificate with that nigga's name on it. Yeah. Because he was registered, yeah, right? Yeah, he was as, registered as, as that nigga. character. Yeah. yeah. Shit. And I was like, this is nice, but uh, I don't know. And I think you saw the look in my face. She's like, I sorted it out, bro. Mm. And she came back with the thing. I think she went to with go the explain. Right one. Yeah, with the right one. Come on, now. And that should have been a sign for me. But I think if God always shows you the end, mm. pop, only pop. Mm. And then, yeah, I actually got into acting because a chick I was dating, we were both like, you know, I was a dropout. She was, took a gap year and we were like, yo, she's like, I'm going to the school. Do you want to come with me? Because you just dropped out. I mean, I spent from like July <laughs> just mm. milling around for the rest <laughs> of the year. So she was like, yo, do you want to just come to the school with me next year? You know, it's acting. I mean, you did that thing and, you know, mm. it's familiar, yeah, you know. You do, yeah. yeah, you've done it before. Kind of, yeah. And, um, I got into the school and then she fucks off to Rhodes <laughs> and we broke up. <laughs> like what? Mid the, the whole thing? No, what? by the time it was like, this was July, maybe auditions are like August, September. Mm. So by the time in February when oh, school's the open, starts, yeah, no. ah, bro, we had broken up, she fucked off to Rhodes. And I was even like, I'm not going to do that thing again because I was only doing it for her. Mm. And then the school head, whatever, was like, my nigga, you... Are you coming to the school? Because we started two weeks ago. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> Shit. So you're still just kicking it. At I'm just time. still kicking it. Though. I'm just like trying to figure out a plan with my life. How I'm gonna make guala. And, mm. yeah, and I was like, okay, cool. My dad is like, yo, you can't just fucking sit and watch Cartoon Network the whole day. Mm. Like, Which you were still watching at the time. Yeah. <laughs> One of my faves, bro. There's a show called uh, I can't hate on that. The Imag uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I had a tattoo mm. here of the one of the characters, which yeah. I did myself for the uh, homie's uh, tattoo uh, guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, Come on. I'm cultured. Yes, sir. I'm hella cultured. Now I feel you. Um, mm. and then and then I went to the school. But that's where I met my wife. So mm. everything it all kind of worked out. Div the divinity, right? Absolutely, dog. The divinity is like when you look in retrospect, like the details. Like I tweeted this actually uh, sometime towards the end of the year last year. It's like life is too divine in detail to not believe in God. Yeah. Like, wow. Well, if you don't believe in God, it's like you're pretending or yeah. you're, you're being ignorant. It's yes. Like, there's no way you think things go this way. Like, when you look at the details yes. of life, it's like, come on. These details Who, who could design this thing on, in this way? It. Yeah. If it, it coincidence? Mm -mm. No, come on. That, mm -mm. You can't be serious. It's pure design, bro. Yeah, like the divinity design. in the design. Because even the removal of the fuck nigga, respectfully, when he doesn't show up for the show, when the judges are there, and then that yeah. bread crumb for yeah. you to, you know, it's yeah. like the divinity in, in all of this. Praise the God. lady who ple who leads you to the school mm. Mm. ends up not being the lady to be there at the school with you because mm. he's already got a lady there yeah, waiting for you boy. that you're going to take it with from yeah. here to, it's yeah. like, come on, when you look at all of it, so come on, stop playing. Stop playing. God bro. is real. He's yeah. present. Now nah, he is, bro. And mm. I, I, I have many stories in my life that, like that, bro. You know, mm. where it's just like, you know, there's a quote in the Bible where Jesus says, "The rejected stone becomes the corn, the cornerstone. The rejected rock mm. becomes the cornerstone." Mm -hmm. And yeah, I have a lot of things that were 
crumbs for other niggas, bro, or that thing that we took lightly, or whether me or whether the other people, whether I turned something that they took lightly, you know, into something big, uh, or whether it was just, I mean, the wife is the craziest one, right? Um, Ayanda, the casting director, bro, for Active Spaces, shout out, bro, Mr. Sitebe. Um mm. Young genius, amazing guy, bro, especially in the space that he's in. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to the Queen and Slim uh, premiere, right? Mm. I got these tickets from a homie of mine, Bali. She's like, David Kaluuya's in the country. He's going to be at Universal at Rosebank. Pull up. And she worked at Universal, was freelancing at Universal. Yeah. So we, we lost, bro. We're trying to find Universal. I don't know if you guys... If you've been to the Universal at Rosebank, it's like there's no yeah, signs. Yeah. You must know where you're going. Yeah, you got it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's through the mall even. Mm. So we're like trying to find this place and da-da-da. My wife used to go to Munith. So Ayanda, Ayanda was a facilitator. I call him pr- pr- program director. It was like a acting teacher, mm-hmm. but like not in the professional, super professional sense, right? He's... He does these workshops and he goes to schools and even still now he does them in Abu Pala and Snabustumo where he'll go to schools in the ghetto, schools in the rural areas and teach them about acting. Mm. So before the lab, my wife was at Munith, which is a small drama school in, in Pretoria and he came to do his thing there mm. like years ago. So jump back to Rosebank. Mm. We're like, look, me and my wife are looking for the elevator, how to get to this place. It's on this floor, whatever. Him and his wife pull up, mm-hmm. right? Hey, Lesejo. Hey, Ayanda. Hi, Ponko. This is Ayanda. He's, you know, from, you know, from Munith, you know, da da da. Back then mm-hmm. in my old drama school. How's it, my bro? Cool, sweet, sweet. You guys also lost. Yes, we're looking for the elevator. We're like, okay, cool. I says, Hamba song, get into the elevator. And then we split when we get to the events, right? Nice to meet you, bro. Four, five years. Okay, wait, I'm lying. Queen and Slim must have been 2018, 19, right? Mm-hmm. Probably, I don't know. Yeah. 2020. Mm-hmm. He DMs my wife. It's like, yo, um, can you send me Bonko's numbers? Mm-hmm. It's like, for sure. He calls me. He's like, bro, don't know if you remember me. We met at Queen and Slim in the elevator. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, 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 what's up, bro? He's like, I'm casting this thing called The Wife. And I don't know, bro. I haven't seen you do your thing, but I've got a feeling that you'll like this character. Shit. No lie. Like, he just... Picked you out of a hat. He just went straight for you and said, I think you... Off of what? When he said, like... My when we finally like, speak, he was like... What? He's like, divinity. He's like, when I was looking at this shit and looking at the brief and, and the character, mm. his mind just went back into that elevator. Shit. And it was like... Maybe so you and Mkwele like in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. But you know, because what he was like, bro. I knew uh, from the like when when with the way they described this nigga. Hmm. I just you were the first person I thought of. That's fire. And then called you in for an audition. Came in for the audition. Came in for the callbacks. Came in for the chemistries. And I was like. How many other niggas are there? And it's like, it's just you, bro. For them clearly, bro. Yeah. It's just you. Shit. And then, boom. And then nothing was the same. And then nothing (laughs) was the same. Nothing was the same. So whenever I think back at that, I'm just like, yo, bro, like, man. That's what I'm saying. If we're not allowed to be ourselves, we're getting in the way of something bigger. Because if he didn't go with that jewelry, small gut feeling, dog, just Mm. that gut feeling to say, Cause he could have been like, ah, how the fuck do I find that guy? Mm. You know, and then just ah, and just then ah, life would be different for yeah. everyone. For I mean, for, for South Africa, yeah, yeah for, the, <laughs> for all of us, for all of us. So, do you see what yeah. like a pivotal role he played in 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 the South African industry, let alone by my life? His intuition, but just by following his intuition, going with his gut, being himself, mm. bro, and just saying, 
as weird as it might sound, maybe DMing the Sejo, he didn't even mm. care, you know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm around people now where, you know, actors, mm. like, oh, for nearly this cut. But I'm like, but, okay. Like, my man, and, what? <laughs> Okay. It's like, I'll say, I'll go Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. But then you also get shown the reality of like, oh, shit, other people live like this. Yeah, you know? uh, all relationships are not equal. They're not the same, bro. Mm. And I, I totally respect that. And, and respect once you tell me, I'm like, all right, cool, bro. You so know. for now, you should say businessman, you should so good, so cool. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, that was... Sorry. Yeah, well, because you want a bonko. How do you bonko? How do you bonko? How do you bonko? You don't understand that that might be... Uh, that could be anything that could be anything mm. bro that could be the next step in you your life you could have just said hey fuck this thing why is it sliding in the tear <laughs> you understand when you have food at me you understand you have food at me you have food at me you have food at me you have bro nah yeah, bro fire Kanti yo that nigga changed my life bro mm. who are your acting goats because you don't strike me as somebody who has inspired by like who down no karab locally <laughs> anyway yeah locally too I'll start locally. Um, Tony Choroche, he's brilliant. Who's Tony Choroche? Tony Choroche was on Imbeu for please a long time. Please find these people and put the yeah. snaps on on the thing, please, editor. Tony Tony Choroche was is is dope. Who did he play? Because you know in South Africa, we know these people by their by um, their actor names. We don't know their real names. Now is, in the streets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This bonko thing, we don't know it. Um, Tony Choroche, bro. This nigga. Oh, yes, he's lit, this man. Yeah, yes, bro, yes, he's yeah, he's cool. up, he's up. He played. Was he on his or his or the man? He was. I think he, he, I think he was. Yeah, I think he was a, the rebellion student on his or his or who stood up to Orchester and all that, wasn't he? I think he might think, be. I think he uh, of Fana Mukwena. Who was also lit. Pull him out. Also, yeah. sorry, I'm going to make you do this. No. But yeah, he's lit. Fana McGuinea, also, he got into politics and stuff. Oh, he's in the EFF handle. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. But yeah. he's back now. He's yeah, just I mean, doing he's some also stuff. lit. Um, yeah, those are my, you know, and the homies that I work with, bro, Abdul is a beast. Abdul is my favorite, favorite actor. Ooh. Purely because I had An the animal. beast, bro. He's a force. I've had the honor of like being around him mm. and like watching him create. Mm. And we brothers, bro. We we get you we get guys along. are similar beasts because you are also a man of the craft, which is why I feel like I don't think you're inspired by like generations, niggas, and all. They respect nah. the generations. I'm a huge uh, Connie nah. Ferguson. You're the yeah, Connie's Come on. awesome. We, did, we just did a movie together, and like, yeah. um, uh, she's, she's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. But you're like a pure breed actor. Thank you, bro. It's like you give like Denzel Thank feeling. Thank you, bro. It's like you act for real, for real. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I try to. I also draw inspiration. I don't know because I'm. I always tell people like, not that I'm not. I'm not special. Like I'm not special. I'm different. Yes, but I'm not special. I'm a. I'm a combination of. Uh, of how things went for me, you mm. know. So because of of painting, I don't get inspired by actors. Oh, that's fine. Right? Maybe that's why you're so good at it. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and I'm just like, yo, I see it, but the inspiration has to come from somewhere else, you know. Sure. I get inspired by music. I get inspired by human beings, you know. I mean, just meeting you mm -hmm. today and the way we've chopped it up online, uh, you know, trying to mm. make, set this up and actually meeting you yeah. it's like for me it's like that will uh, that will gather as an experience mm. and, and I'll take that somewhere yeah you know and I'll so. I'll describe something I'll say like like Zinger you know mm. like or when I when it comes to a character I, I wouldn't approach it say the way another actor would do it I'll be like I remember Zinger when we walked up the stairs he said this to me and I I laughed in my head and I was like mm. you know and I was like yo Whatever and what and uh, you know whatever that experience and that's was, what you pull from. and that's what I pull from. Fire, as opposed to other actors, but as to, as opposed to other niggas doing their thing and me going, mm. shout out, and well done, that, and appreciating yeah. it for sure. Vuyo Tabula was was one of my big, um, not inspirations. Uh, Vuyo Tabula, Gaddafi, come on, don't Google that nigga, my niggas. Gaddafi, Gaddafi on what? 
And the who's Gaddafi? Ah, oh, Vana. <laughs> now, each generations are tapped out early, bro. Really? Before yeah. Gaddafi? I don't know. Let me check who's Vuyo Tabula. Let me check. That man's been on Marvel. Oh, no, nah, I wasn't on Generations when he was on. Isn't he also on, what's the... Five Fingers. Respectfully, uh, what's the Limpopo handle? What's the the vendor handle? Yeah, isn't Mufango. he? Isn't he on that? He's nah. not a Mufango nigga? Nah, nigga. Oh, it's a different nigga, the chief nigga. He was dope. He's yeah, dope. he's okay. He's dope. Shout he's out dope. to Vuyo. Um, man. Tabo Malema. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna pull all these people. My bad. Like Tabo Malema is a force. He's got the comedy. He's got the drama. Um, very underappreciated, in my opinion. But he, he does have the safters and everything. Oh yes, this nigga's lit. This nigga's lit, bro. Yeah, this nigga's lit. He's also a pure breed actor. It's he gives me very pure breed actor. Thoroughbred. Also, thoroughbred. Like real actors can like the character changes in their face. Yeah. Not just in the script yeah. or the dress code. It's like yeah. this person almost looks different when yeah, you yeah. different. Yeah, characters. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, You're like shit, but yeah, how do you do that? He's one of them. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I mean uh this there's, there's the other nigga who the bold uh tall nigga with the deep voice. Uh, I don't know what he, what he what he was on. Uh, <coughs> Bold, think, deep. Yeah, I think he also had a Mac G. Uh, I think you guys interviewed him there. She's got. Yeah, yeah. When he when he was still there. <laughs> What's his name? But he's really good. Also, I think he played a gay character on one of the shows. Oh, dude, Warren Masamula. Warren is also Yo. pure breed. That's like a thoroughbred. We we went to yeah. not together, but he's also from the market the other lab. I take Tusa also as a pure yeah, yeah. breed actress. No, Tusa like, is insane. She acts like no, 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 no. real. Tusa was dope. Is dope still. Mm. Um. Okay, now we're going females, right? Yeah, let's get let's get some girls in there. We don't hate on. We them. don't hate on them. We love them, man. We love them. Um, Pamela Nomvete. Mm. Mm. Laratum Velase. Ooh, beast, animal, beast, animal, beast. Yeah, um, hell yeah, I'm a huge fan. Shikes, who else? I mean, there's a there's a quality that um, Tony's wife Stani Lechoroche has that I think, man, she played. Okay, you can't tell yeah, me. Yeah, say, say, Zinzi, say. Zinzi and Zolera. Ooh, beast, yeah, beast of a thing. Yeah, like, but like beast. a gentle beast, like this, mm. the sincerity. That's just unmatched, bro. Mm. You know? Um, Hell yeah. And then, yeah, yeah Lorsha Cooper. I recently got to work with Lorsha Cooper on the show Dope. coming out, Red Ink. And mm. yeah, like meeting her was like, shit, it's real. Like, it's a person. Because you know, sometimes you get transported <laughs> so far, you're like, dang, you are the character. Um, and yeah. I actually got to meet Lorsha, the person. And yeah, bro. You know, it's such a blessing, like, coming up in the game and watching the people you used to watch and love. And I want to have worked with all my... Yeah, I have, bro. I've worked with everyone. With a lot of your yeah. idols, ne? Yeah. You use that word. 100%. I just finished the show with Jerem Fouquet. Um, and we would sit... Uh, I don't know how... I can't, man. This is home, right? We at home. Bro, we, we sat... Jerry was... Um, Dr. Jerry was auditioning for some show coming out soon or... Mm. shooting soon and I was in the other green room and he he was like in the space kind of running his lines and I was like like I'm saying if we get stopped from being ourselves we'll, the world will stop moving so in my head I'm like forget that it's in Tatechere I can't sit here I'm busy playing Nintendo Switch bro you know what I mean yeah. I can't chill here while this man is running lines of a, a dialogue Mm. So I'm like, yeah, I pull up. I'm like, did the Jerry need help? He's like, yeah, please. Oh, you got in there with him. I got in there with him. We're working oh, it. No. We're working it. We're working it. Did he just not, you know, call me the other day to be like, bro, I got the job. Thank you. Um, Fire. Yeah. That's dope. No, congrats. Shout out congrats, to you Dr. Jerry. Congrats to um, Dr. Jerry. Yeah. But less about me, but more about like just being, being open to, to the unknown and what, what's, 
God and the universe uh, are, are trying to do through your unknowing, mm. right? Through your unconsciousness. Because Oof. the more conscious we are, the more we add to that experience. Mm. The more, I mean, there's also a quote that we deal with things not as they are, but how as we are, mm. right? Oof. And I mean, I, I, I'm busy with the film now and I was with the producer on on the flights yesterday. We were talking about like, this, we were talking about the same thing and he was like, the same alley can feel different for three different people, right? So I can walk past the alley afraid. You can walk past the alley like fucking happy and chilled. And another person can walk down that same alley mm. three different ways. Not even pay attention. And not even give a fuck not that even it's an feel alley. It, yeah. But it's the same alley, right? And mm. I'm bringing maybe my trauma of whatever. You're maybe you know, back from a party. The other person is maybe rushing to work. So mm. it's, it's never as it is. But it's it's how it's our how we are and how mm. what we add on top of that experience. So those analogies fit the scripts of the the characters of the things we gave them. You got that on your feet. That's yeah, oh bro, like pure breed for real. <laughs> no, bro, I tried. Dog, I and see I, you. It's just being present mm. um, to the experience, and I keep saying in my interviews, I'm like, I'm not gonna be sitting here acting like I didn't fail at other things before. Mm, acting like I, I didn't also believe that that, I mean, yeah, acting is working out. I mean, um, who's that fat rapper, the chubby guy who used to be a chef? Action, Action, Action Bronson. Action Bronson, yeah. Don't know if you've seen, um, it's called When We Were, it's a documentary on the New York rappers and they've got Flat, uh, flat Boy Zombies, Action Bronson, a couple of other cats. Um, That's from a while ago, no? Yeah, yeah. I think I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember the part where he was like, no, he was in the kitchen and he was chopping like, not like how me and you chop, but you can tell like, now this thing you should be a chef. And they're like, yeah, it's like, oh, this man does this for real. Yeah, this does, he does it for real. Mm. And it's like, and he was like, they asked him like, okay, why are you, like, how did you get into the rap? And it was like, it works for me. Like it's, it's working for me right mm. now, you know? And I, and, and I share the same sentiment. It's like, I'm not going to discredit the kid that wanted to be a rapper Mm. I'm not going to discredit because at every point in my life, I was like, this is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as mature as I am now, I'm just going to be like, I have a history of evidence to mm. prove that things can always change. Mm. So what I'll do now is just do my best. And, and also allow for everything to be it. It's like any of it can be it. With any, all the tools that you have. Yeah. It's like, yo, if anything... <laughs> You, and you don't just sit in one pocket and say, nah, this is where I'm... This is it. This is where I belong. Where, yeah, you know, like, like look, bro, you're out here with a podcast, a whole team mm. of niggas. And, you know, like, if you didn't allow whatever that impulse was to happen, mm. you know, you would want to... You'd be Rap till I die. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rap till you die. I mean, like, or I think... kills me. Bro, God has a bigger story for you. You know, a much crazier, much more interesting story for you. Amen. You know, and like, as you said, we've, we've just been speaking about like the one thing you believe just gets you to that point so something else can take over. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, I love acting and I hope it takes me far and I hope I get far, but like, mm. I, uh, I'm not afraid of the idea that this could also be just a vehicle to get me somewhere to else. To get to the next thing, right? Yeah, to get to the next Another cheat code I feel like you have ahead of a lot of actors is you have this you have this thing where you can literally just shave your beard a different way and you literally look like a different man. Shut it's up. like you have this you have this look that you can actually change. Yeah. And I've seen that in like the different roles that you play. It's like this doesn't look like Kelly at all. Yeah. Or this doesn't look like this guy at all. Or this doesn't look like it's like yeah. wow. It's like that not a lot of people can do that. I'm happy. Like Hutao has looked like Hutao ever yeah. since. Like <laughs> I, I've never seen a different Tao. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and you can't even make him look different. How no, you you're the W. I don't think he can grow a beard. He doesn't look like he's had a beard his whole life. Yeah. Also, maybe some some other access genetics don't allow. Yeah, not me. I'm po I'm poor with the Stupu. with the facial yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you know, which is why I'm saying because like respectfully, I'm in the same boat. Um, there's there's not a lot of people that you can actually change like sure. physically, and it's like yo, this is a, this is another person that's on the show. So I feel like that's a thank you, bro. That's a very dope thing that thank you, you seem to have, and you seem to play into it. Hello, also. absolutely. I mean, um, in the in the vein of finding my lane, you know, um, 
that's that was that was that was something I felt like niggas weren't doing enough. Mm. So that's what I do now. I I I, I vowed to myself I'll be a, a deck a deck of cards. <clears throat> you know, they Fine. all they all have the they all cards, but they're all different. Mm. So Ooh. I think it'll always be Bonko, but every every time you see Bonko, it's gotta be it's like a different slice of yeah. And we play people, you know. I don't know how many niggas in the world all look the same, but I'm pretty sure you have like one or two doppelgangers. But yeah, the rest yeah, yeah. of us are different. Mm. So I can't make him clearly look like John and John look like Thomas and Tom, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I feel also that's a thing we discredit or we Actually, I hate I don't want to use the word lazy, but like niggas don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, bro, that's your job. Extra. Yeah, that's your job, dog. Mm. You hear Thomas from Soweto, da 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 da, mm. and then Mkele from KZN. Da, da, da. Like you can't mm. tell me those niggas look the same. There has to be range, like even in the delivery, in the everything, timing, bro. Yeah, everything. Like attention to detail. No, absolutely, bro. Everything, like you can't, bro. Like what happened out there, the wife? Like how? Like we can't just have you for one season. What was it? One season? It was two. Two. Yeah. What? How does that end? Yikes, bro! You see, also it was that thing that like that we spoke about earlier. I was like, shit. At what point does what I say affect the bag? You know, okay, yeah, yeah. the business. And at that point, I was very brash. You got vocal. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, dog. I don't take it back. Mm. Um, but like, yeah, there were certain things we didn't agree on, mm -hmm. you know, and the truth of the matter is the more you deny yourself those truths, mm. the, the more anxious and depressed you become, mm. you know, and for me, I feel like. Then work becomes unpleasant. Then work becomes unpleasant. Then we just mm. out here, you yeah. know. And the the owners of the of the property had their own ideas of how um, life goes in this world, and I'm just like, but you can't call it life and then call it your world. It can't be both. It's yeah. either the Matrix or it's it's Babylon, bro. You know because the Matrix has has a, you know it's just, we know it's, it's not system, real. Yeah. yeah, it's a system. We know yeah. it's not real. So either we do that and we don't. And we, you call us robots and not characters, you know. Mm. But I, I just feel like Mkhele's arc for me as an actor was not done, but like it was, it was full circle. Like you say, you know, we we call we recall parts of our lives where we're like, I did this and this, and now I'm this. Yeah. I just feel like they were making the man walk in circles. Mm, you know. Okay. Which so is you weren't happy with the character development. Yeah. Did they keep the same writers? I don't know, bro. But the writing just got. It got. Yeah. It got. got did you watch that third season? Respectfully. Respectfully, I, I did. Still on the X, also maybe. I <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, maybe I <laughs> but did you watch that third season? Um, no. Yeah, that was. No, I I jumped in and out. I didn't watch that it was fully. Hard, like I didn't watch it fully because I was mm. I was I was spanning, but I did I did watch lots of it. I mean, Gwen was my boy, so I watched a lot of uh, uh, mm. his stuff, and I would focus mostly on his storyline and stuff. But also, yeah, things got busy. You realize it's, it's a luxury to watch. I didn't make it all the way. Yeah, through, but yeah. Probably a similar. I'm not sure what uh, the, the, the thing with I'll Abdul bring was. Him and ask him. Yeah, he was, he was put him up. I also want to know. Yeah. Um, but we were chilled, bro. And also, once the you know the, the the company understood, it was chilled, bro. And I think they got a a, a dope uh, recast, which was Wiseman. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. also he's he's he's, he's a also force. really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's dope. He's a force, bro. Mm. Um, I'm a favorite actor right now is Tim Gossi, bro. Zidane, like. He's doing it, man. Let me tell you a secret, bro. Like, okay, Mkele was formed of, of Mabuto. What? Yeah. Explain how. Just like the demeanor and the tone and the balance between, I could fuck you up, but I'm a sweet guy. 
fire. Yeah. Fire. And I told him. I can see those parallels. Hella. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, bro, I, I bet your whole Because he, he did my mood. He did that. That was fire. That's so believable. It's like, that's him. <laughs> nah. I feel like he's like that in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> um, it feels like this can't be a character. Bro, which the, is how I'm it felt with you. Bless. Bless. Mm. I mean, Mkele was was a was a was a combination of a lot of things. It was uh, Jack Mongrel mm. in certain parts. Mm. It was Jack Mongrel? Fire. It was Mabuto. Uh, it, he was a bit of like other softer characters I had played. Mm. Uh, I did a film called Beautifully Broken, which was uh, this character called Mugenzi, mm. and he was like taken into the militia, but he was like crying half the time, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, but he like pushed through. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like the, a bunch of niggas, but yeah. I told I told I told Zidane the first time I ever met him. I was like, bro, I'm I'm not gonna let you leave without letting you yeah. know that. Yo. Yeah. And let's let's just establish this relationship like this because I don't want you here <laughs> down the line on chopping it up and be like, bro, <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> you know. So like now. We are fake. Yeah. No, I I told him the first day we met. He came to set. Uh, when we were shooting hi- the heist scene, you know, the beginning heist scene. Because mm, yeah, yeah. him and Wenzel went to school together, so they're boys. Dope. And he pulled up and I was like, bro, I'm I'm playing like a bit of what you do. Like, I'm, I, I copied like your shit. That's fine. And that's dope. I've, dude, I'd be honored, if, not even honored, I'd be happy because just tell, you know, if someone came to me and said, dog, this is Mkhele, like for sure, please. Because why? Mkhele worked. Yeah, worked really well. Yeah, and so for me, Mabuto worked. Half the time, I don't, I don't like take from other actors or the actors I don't take from because maybe that shit didn't work that well. Yeah, it didn't really quite nail it. It didn't. So why would I? You know, it's nothing to take from. There. Yeah, dog. So if anybody comes and says, "Bro, that voice, I took it from this nigga," I'd be like, "Bro, I also made the art to give away." Mm. You know, um, we did a masterclass with Showmax where I broke it down like. This is literally what I did to find the character. Fire. This is like, have it, bro. Use it in your mm. own things and see how it yeah, works. building a character. Yeah. yeah. Like, take it, so that- fuck with it, make it your own. Mm. Even if you take one piece of this thing, like, we don't, we're not trying to gatekeep or, or, or hide things or keep things a secret, mm. you know. But to us niggas, sometimes like, ah, bro, how did you get your body like that? Blue tick. <laughs> Gatekeeping the cool. muscles. <laughs> yeah, gatekeeping <laughs> the muscles, dog. <dad. laughs> no, come on, man. Like, plug us. Yeah, yeah, dog. Just plug me, dog. I just want to know. Was it a diet mm. or whatever? What was the routine? Mm. So, but also, I, you don't have to become like other niggas as well. Mm. You know, you you find your tribe. You find you the find peeps. Your way, yeah. yeah. Did you produce on Red Ink? Because uh, when I saw you on the chair with your name on it, it's like, oh, this is usually the behind the camera chair. Oh, dope. Did you produce on there? Nah. Oh, you just up yeah. like that. That's how I move, yeah. son. Yeah. yeah you Come I heard in. you earlier also with the green room talk. I'm like, okay, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's how I move. The green room, give you a chair with your name on it. Yeah, now nah, that's how I move. Big dog shit. It's also set to the busy space and it's like, I don't want to go pee here now. So conocer, man. So conocer, man. So I don't tell it. So I'm telling. So I'm telling. So I'm telling. Yeah, yeah. And like, bro, for me, like this, the country's the country's getting to a point where like <coughs> actors have to show their power, mm. you know, um, and Make not shake. not to be like slack or like uh, mm. you know any way about it, but to mm. say like. We have to walk in our value as actors. Mm. My nigga, have the lights. Roll the cameras. If me and you don't show up today, mm. you shoot the, the, the screen, dude. You'll see what you do. You'll see how you mm. do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you'll find that we're the worst treated. Yeah, and you're the, actually, you're the actual juice of the product. And I say, we, we will say juice because of what we actually do. Mm. So you find like, okay, it's an ego chicken situation where you're like, do you think it's easy because I make it look easy? Or do you actually think... A lot of the times they do get their twisted. Right. Because of get, how easy you make it how look. How easy People we have, believe it's the, that easy. But then that's my job. I have to hide the work. Mm. I have to hide the effort. Mm. But it does not disregard the effort. Just because you're good at something, mm. it doesn't mean it's easy. You know what I mean? Picasso says, 
he took 20 years to draw something in five minutes. Fire. You yes, feel me? I've heard that, yeah. So it's like, yo. And that's what it is. You put in your 10,000 hours. You put in the hours, bro. Mm. So why can't I be respected? So it's also a slight statement, the chair, to be like, yo. Because mm. most times you'll, you'll be on productions with uh, niggas from Cape Town or a different set or a different atmosphere and they just see the black boy, you know. Yeah, and they just... and it's like, nah. You... So it's like a statement for the room. Who's yeah, cool? but nah. I'm not just another nigga. Nah, dog. Respectfully. Respectfully. Always yeah, respectfully always. to be like, yo, bro, I, I ain't just the niggas here. Also, depending on the job, I also I only bring that chair really when I'm doing like the lead roles. Yeah. You know, to also have that sort of, uh, I mean, if pr we know the producers and the producers, they get like this respect to them and, you mm. know, and you... You're running the production. Yeah, you know, when you see them, in your band, that's really sick. Yeah, yeah, dog. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And not to say I want that because of what that looks like, but... Mm. I mean, we all deserve that type it's of respect. It's for it. Yeah, bro, we all yeah. deserve it. Especially for an actor leading a series or a leading a show, actor or actress. Bro, those, those people are under so much pressure mm. that you need a green room. You need their own chair. You need, mm. as, I'd go as far as like, I have an assistant on set, bro, you know? Fire. I have, a, I have a, 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 an assistant who like, get me my coffee or get me the, mm. because it's like, I got to do this thing because this thing is only going to happen now. And today, or you know, yeah. like the the stuff we have today, we can't Gotta knock it out the park. We have to, mm. you know. And I never even bring my phone on set because it's like, whenever I'm shooting, fire. This is all I have to do. It's like not an easy job, but it's the simplest job. Mm. It's like, do this, bro. Just focus your whole energy on this one thing, and then mm. you can have. I mean, we don't work all the time. I'm like, I've been chilling for a bit. It's not like a nine to five. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've got no reason being on my phone. Doing something I can do in a different occasion. Yeah, it's like you always got your phone, big dog. You always Come got your on. phone, my G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's on. not going anywhere. Just give us a um, 100%. Now. And I learned this on The Woman King because I had two days only on The Woman King. Mm. And we it was like a two-hour drive to the set. And I was like, I'm going to leave my phone in the hotel. Because Fire. this is probably, at the time, the biggest job I'll ever do. Yeah, it's like, this is it. So I need all of me, and they only want me for a day. Mm. So there's like, there's no reason Gotta I can that. be doing anything today that I can do another day. Yeah. And yeah, bro, like I uh, remember when you came on uh, on the Woman King in the cinema. I was like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know this niggas hear me. Oh uh, no, for sure. I heard <laughs> like about that. Yeah. I heard about that, and I'm and I'm grateful. And I think me knowing that story, I was like, okay, yeah. then I uh, that means that process is a little valid yeah because no lie dude like it was just me there was no phone there was no nothing i had my cigarettes when i smoked cigarettes at the time had my lighter mm. and i was like you guys have all of me my concentration yeah. my mind my body my 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 anything my talents, it's, my everything. it's all for you today you know? get what you need get what you need because <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Yeah, bro. So uh, I feel like obviously we could chop it up all day. It's mm. like, yo, we relate on so many levels. We could really get deep into it. But uh, to wrap it up, maybe this will be our part one. We'll we'll come back and chop it up some more when we've worked some more. Love to, bro. Um, you've uh, achieved rap touring. You've achieved voice voicing that's how y'all say it right yeah, voicing. voicing yeah, yeah voicing um you've achieved acting at the at the highest level and at the same time with all that career stuff you also have then achieved marriage with uh, a great lady and have now a daughter it's like wow you've put it together like lovely work so what do you look forward to in closing and, and what does your future look like? Sure. Thank you, bro. That's very kind of you. Um, I look forward to just... That's the thing. Remember, I don't look forward past like two weeks. Oh, yeah. I was like, just, just for, for today, today bro. <laughs> just for today. If I can be Fire. a better man than I was yesterday. Mm. Um, I'm a praying man too, you know. So it's like, mm. just achieve the prayers I prayed last night. Um, 
and like let God do because all of that that you're counting, bro, mm. is just God, bro. You know, all of those things you recall now is just God. And the moments I'd say in my life where I allowed God to do his thing. Gotta give God his room to work. Yeah, right? bro. So that's really what I, I I hope for is that God can continue to work through me, uh, work in me, in my family life, uh, professionally. Um, yeah, dog, and just keep doing better work. Mm. I like Khaled recently has a new quote and I was like, ah, bro, that's mine. You yeah, know, um, my, my, my next job is my best job. And when people say, What's, what was your best job? I'm like, my next job. My bro. next job. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. the one I'll do next? Mm. So Fire. I'm, I'm happy with how everything has been in the past, but the best of me is yet to come. And uh, I got Red Ink coming out, a job I was re I'm really proud of, uh, on the 12th of Feb on Showmax. That's going to be really exciting. It looks dope. I saw the trailer. Yeah, okay. like we went full tilt on that fucking thing. Share, yeah, son. Yeah, maybe we should have a chat after that. After that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah um, we're gonna, ch yeah. That's I'm, a, I'm looking forward to that. I've got a couple of films we worked on last year coming out. That film with Connie with uh, Oscorny. Yeah. And for now, it's just, yeah, bro, being a dad. Think oh, dad. Come that's on, really, daddy. I'm doing really everything in between that. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I've meant. It's yeah. like, it's this thing and then you fit everything And then you fit everything it. around her schedule. Yeah. But yeah, being a dad, bro. And um, I'm excited to see, I've been, I would call it a young hiatus. Mm. I mean, just because you're on it on TV, niggas are like, you. I won't call it falling over, like, where are you? I'm like, I'm alive, guys. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited for the people that do watch television to for us to reconnect and reunite. Mm. Yeah, man. That's that's really what I'm looking Fine. forward to. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Broski. Yes, sir. It's been beautiful. That's up. Bonko yes, Koza. Thank you. Thank you. That's fire. Bro, thank you.